Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our online store build here. In the last video we created some uh, variable products. I've just gone ahead and added a bunch more products exactly the same way as we did simple ones and variable ones. Now that we've got products we've installed WooCommerce and set it up. If we go and look at our pages you're going to notice that there's been a bunch created automatically by WooCommerce. It's created a cart page, checkout page, a my account page, and a shop page. And if you look at it, shop page, it should have all those products on it. And there we are. As we go through, it's showing one of 19, it's got pagination at the bottom for the rest of it. We're going to be customizing all these pages. This is the sort of default one that it builds. We're going to build our own. But before we do that, we need to go and make sure that our PayPal, which was the payment gateway that we set up, is going to actually work. So if we go back into WooCommerce, down to Settings, go to Payments, what this is going to do is allow us to do a transaction without actually any money moving from anywhere. As you see, we've got our PayPal activated. Let's hit the Manage button. And if we scroll down, you've got a little thing that says Paypox, PayPal Sandbox. Just put a little checkbox in there to enable PayPal Sandbox. And if we scroll down a little further, Here's our API credentials for our sandbox. And what we're going to need for this is we're going to need a username for our actual store for our, for selling things. So what you need to do, and I'll put this URL below this video, is go to developer.paypal.com. Once you're there, you sign in with your PayPal account. And it'll bring you to the dashboard. I've already got some set up from other sites. And what you're going to need to do is create an account. So just click on the create account button. But you're, you're going to need a personal account for buying products with and a business account for selling products with. So the business account is the one that we want to put into our dashboard where we were. And when we buy something in a minute, we're going to need a personal account. So just click on the create account I'm not going to do it because I, I've already got them choose which type you will and just hit create I'm going to get back out of there because I've already got one so in our business account I just need to check once it's created you need to check on the view edit account buttons to the right hand side here Go over to API credentials and it's going to give you a username, a password and a signature. Now we're going to need all of these so I'm going to copy the username, username, put it in here, password. Put that in there and the actual signature copy that and we'll put that in there too that's actually optional but i always find i put it in just for safety so let's save our changes great now let's go to the sandbox let's go back and take one of these personal ones doesn't matter which one. View edit account. And it's going to give you a name, John Doe. It's going to give you an email ID, which is your sort of PayPal 
example ID and it's going to give you a system generated password you can change it if you want to now I'm going to copy these over into a little text pad and I'm going to make a purchase from our site so we'll go back to our site we've got everything we need here so I'm going to go ahead and go to that shop page that we saw just now I'll have to go to pages to get to it I'm going to go down to shop I'm going to hit the view because we haven't set it up on the menu or anything it's not actually there now I'm going to copy this into an incognito tab because you can't purchase and sell from the same sort of browser tab so I'm using Chrome uh, so that's control shift N for an in incognito tab I know Firefox has one I don't know what the keys are just just look at that put the shop page URL in there hit the enter key now see if we can't make a purchase I'll just grab the first thing there and I'll get the generic version I'm going to add it to my cart like I said we'll be customizing all these pages as we go along view my cart and let's proceed to check out and you need to fill out this form and it was John Doe was the name that it gave us I don't know if that will actually make a, a difference or not company name option United States house number in the street town city my town state I'll take the first one zip phone number you got to put something in there and email address you got to put something in there now it gave us an email address I think you put anything you want in there let's just go ahead and put me at my email I think if I put this it might flag it so I'm actually going to copy the email address that the sandbox gave us there's all the details proceed to PayPal and there it's put that in there so I had to put that in there we could have just pasted it in here now I need to paste in the password that the sandbox gave us and to double check that you're not actually on a real PayPal account look up at the URL and it will say sandbox.paypal.com not just paypal.com so we know we're not going to no money is going to actually change hands with this transaction so I'm going to paste in that password and go ahead and log in okay are we happy with everything there the price and everything great let's play you can pay with your PayPal balance a credit union which is a bank draft from whatever bank you've got registered with your PayPal account I'm going to go ahead and read and pay with this Visa card that they've kindly given me and I'm going to hit the pay now and there we are I paid fourteen hundred and seventy dollars return to merchant so that seems to be absolutely working perfectly our PayPal's all set up if we go back to our site now let's go to the dashboard and you'll see if we go to orders now there should be an order in there and there it is John Doe pending payment 1470 and here's his actual order all the details for you that's what he's ordered So there you have it. Now if we go down to customers, it should he sh should have created an account for him also. There we go. There's his account. 
So that's all working perfectly. Let's go back to our settings. And go back to our payments. Back to PayPal. Scroll on down. When you're happy that everything's working and you want to start selling products and you're all online, just uncheck that. I'm going to leave mine checked because this site's never going to be online. <laughs> so there we have it. That is how to check that your PayPal's working with PayPal Sandbox. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.